let me teach you a scale. Scale is a ladder of notes in alphabetical order. Your first finger on the C, second finger on the D, third finger on the E, your thumb comes under the third finger on F, your second finger on G, your third finger on A, your fourth finger on the B, and your fifth finger on the C. And then, then you have to go back. And now I'm going to teach you the C major scale in the left hand. Left hand, it starts with the fifth finger. C with the fifth finger, D with the fourth finger, E with the third finger, F with the second finger, G with the thumb. You have to cross your third finger over your first finger, third finger on the A, second finger on the B and the first finger on the C. The same way you have to go back. And I'll be happy if you practice both hands together this way. going to show you how to play the chords. More than two notes played together are known as chords. If you press C, E, G together it's known as C major chord. I want you to practice left hand and right hand this way. And if you play it one by one, it's known as RPGO. That is C, E, G, C. You can practice this way. I'm going to teach you a very famous French song which is popularly known as Brother John or Bits of Paper. Thank you.
Now for the birthday song. I'm sure everybody knows it. This again is in free four time which is waltz time and you can see this is known as a key signature. This signifies that we have to play a black note. As I'm playing I'll tell you which black note. And this double bar with some dots are known as repeat. So we have to repeat the song. C, C, D, C, F, B, C, C, D, C, G, F, C, 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 F, G, D, B, B, E, F, G, F, C, C, D, C, F, B, C, C, D, C, G, F, C, 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 You saw me playing the black note. This is known as B flat. The key signature. First I told you about. I just played it once for you. Now I'm going to play it again with the RPGOs as I told you before. Now I'm going to play a short piece, Music by J.S. Bach, which is again in 4-4 four -four timing, that is common time. Let me tell you the notes. G, F, E, D, C. They are the quavers, so you have to play a little bit faster. Then again G, two counts, again F, E, D, C, E, F, G, F, E, D, G, E, C, G, F, E, D, C, G, F, E, D, C, E, F, G, F, E, D, G, C. Left hand we are going to play only C and G together throughout. Now I'm going to teach you a piece by Beethoven. It's a theme from the Ninth Symphony. It's known as Ode to Joy.
scale as a ladder of notes in alphabetical order. Your first finger on the C, second finger on the D, third finger on the E, your thumb comes under the third finger on F, your second finger on G, your third finger on A, your fourth finger on the B and your fifth finger on the C and then, then you have to go back. The C major scale in the left hand. Left hand it starts with the fifth finger. C with the fifth finger, D with the fourth finger, E with the third finger, F with the second finger, G with the thumb. You have to cross your third finger over your first finger, third finger on the A, second finger on the B and the first finger on the C. The same way you have to go back. And I'll be happy if you practice both hands together this way. How to play the chords. More than two notes played together are known as chords. If you press C, E, G together, it's known as C major chord. I want you to practice left hand and right hand this way. And if you play it one by one, it's known as RPGO. That is C, E, G, C. You can practice this way. I'm going to play a duet with my student Christopher Raja. Wasn't that fun? In our future videos, we'll be teaching you some duets also which you can be playing with your family and friends.
I'm very happy the Super Audio has come out with this wonderful DVD. And I thank Mrs. Aruna Shivramakrishna and Mr. Shivramakrishna to approach me for this project.